Okay, here we have a VSAT 10 plus. We've been having noises show up in this area. So what we're doing today is we're going to grease this entire area and show you which points could cause that noise as well as what to do about it. So we're gonna remove the set screws on the left and right fronts. Uh, that will allow this center bolt to be removed through the bottom. Um, and then, go ahead. So we need to remove these on the sides as well to remove this collar off once the center bolt is done. So this collar right here, you can keep going. This collar right here fits over the top of this swing arm. This swing arm fits up and this goes over it. And these two screws on the side go through and hold everything together. Inside of here is one of the points that could be causing the noises. So we're gonna grease inside of there. What size is this? Ten. Yeah. Okay, so this won't come all the way out unless the front mudguard and wheel are removed. Uh, but you don't need to remove it to get everything done. So once that's out, this will come up. And you have a flat washer, then you have a larger one. Bearing cup holds that top bearing in place. And then tight over here. So we've got another bearing cup in the bottom. There we go. So the noises are likely coming from this section here, inside of this. But what you can do is grease the entirety of this all around here and just on the bottom around the bearing race to add some lubrication to that. Go ahead and put it back. Before putting everything back together, you want to add some grease to this side, to this side, and a little bit to the top. And then this top collar can be fitted on. This may be a two-person job. It can be done with one, but you'll need to have something in place just to hold things, uh, extra set of hands, if you will.
So right now we're putting in that bottom bolt. It's going up through the center. It is a 10 millimeter, I believe. And then once that is in, then we can put these two side screws in and then these two smaller set screws in. So that first step, uh, all of that down there is to address noises from creep and the steering columns moving back and forth. There are a couple other points that you can address. This hook right here. So sometimes maybe dirt or something can get in there. You want to clean that out and make sure that both surfaces that it hooks onto and the hook itself are clean. You can throw a tiny bit of grease in there as well. It does not hurt. Um, if you are having too much back and forth, tighten this down a bit, just a little bit. Um, that can add more pressure to the clamp and make it hold even tighter. Sometimes you may hear a rattling sound as well, and that can be caused by this little pass-through pin. So even though this screw is tight, this will still move back and forth. So the easiest thing to do with that is remove this threaded screw. You can take that all the way out. Take this pin out, put some grease around it all the way around, stick it back in, thread this through, and that way the grease will absorb the noise. It'll make sure it slides nicely, um, and that should keep it from rattling too much. You wanna use a thicker grease for this one, uh, something thin like WD-40 or um, white lithium grease probably won't do. Uh, it's too thin, you want something thick to take up the extra space that's in there, but still allow it to move freely.